welcome to another video where I will teach you the strategies that you need to follow to make the most money in this cycle the different aspects that will allow you to create wealth for a lifetime and the different things that you need to do in order to protect yourself from potential crashes these are the three topics that we're going to cover how experts predict crashes and make life-changing money understanding emotional cycles and the signs we're getting to the top with sentiment and having a strong strategy to buy and sell with technical targets. So let's get to it. How do experts predict crashes and make life-changing money? As you know, when you understand when a coin is going to lose 90% or go to zero, when you are in that position where you know it, that something like that could happen, you put yourself in a place where you can make a lot of money. For instance, the Terra Luna project was at the top five in market cap in cryptocurrencies. A few years ago it was 40 billion dollars nobody thought it was gonna drop it was gonna lose all its value and crash the way it did a few people did know about that and the way they do know about those things is by understanding information is key they saw they understood and they applied so they saw that luna was working by printing coins to keep the value of the price stable then they knew that there were protocols like Anchor, that provider, and Anchor, that provided a 20% on stable coins. That is an insane number, considering that they were getting billions of dollars in people staking there. Meaning, there were so many people extracting that 20% every day that even the protocol itself, the Luna project, had to provide liquidity a few times like selling hundreds of millions of their coin to give liquidity for people to get rewards it wasn't sustainable because the moment you give a 20 percent to someone you gotta take it from someone else and there wasn't a place where well there were lending platforms right but nobody was borrowing that much in fact the lending rates were not even close to that percent so it comes down to understanding all of the things that make a blockchain work the Luna project itself, the stablecoin, the Anchor protocol, what some people did, the ones that made life-changing money that predicted the crashes, what they did was understand the different players involved in Luna. They paid attention, they listened to those that were against a project and they realized, okay, this is not sustainable. In fact, the last nail in the coffin was them using Bitcoin to back their stablecoin. Why is that a problem? Because the moment you do that, the price of Bitcoin could drop and the stablecoin would need to somehow sustain that loss from some other place. And people saw that and they lost a lot of money. The, the project itself, Terra Luna, crashed. It went from being the top five, I don't know if it was top three or so, but it crashed so hard it lost all its value. Millions of and billions of dollars were lost because of those things and a few people made millions of dollars and life-changing money by predicting those things my point is you gotta understand the different ways the blockchains and their major protocols come together you don't need to understand everything that goes on in a blockchain but you need to understand that okay in solana there is a major swap exchange there there's a major lending platform there's a major DeFi application so you gotta understand how they are used, what could be a risk, and what are the issues that could arise from people buying into this coin in the future and maybe participate in it. Once you have that information, you can predict crashes. We've all seen Solana went from 100 or 200 into $10, which was an insane loss. It was 90%. And there were many factors involved in that. One of them was FTX. You know about it and if you were able to predict that if you were able to see what was going on behind the scenes you could have made a lot of money there so my point is predict crashes that is one of the best ways to make money by going short on coins that have futures meaning you can short them on places like binance kucoin or any other once you have that information, you can be prepared and execute. 
with leverage a short now this is not financial advice of course this is just my opinion then understanding emotional cycles and the signs we're getting to the top with sentiment now whenever you're in a bitcoin bullish market or a bearish market you can understand okay are we at the top right here you see seventy thousand dollars you gotta ask yourself when do we reach the top what are the things that allow us to say okay this is gonna drop like the moment we got here we knew that there was a major drop and then here this was the last drop before the bullish i mean yeah the bullish momentum ended so what were those signs what were the things that said okay here price is gonna crash hard for two or three years for a long time it was so long that eventually many people lost a lot of money there so how do you predict how do you position yourself so that you are selling right here and not when the price is already there what are those signs well emotional cycles it's very simple whenever you see that people are very emotional regarding the positivity of the price they are like they're borrowing money they are selling their houses to buy more bitcoin when they are going crazy and sharing that to everybody when everybody's too happy that is when you know it's a problem the same thing happened to the 2008 bubble everybody were all the real estate people were very excited they were giving loans to everybody without any kind of checks the companies behind them they had good ratings even though they were bad and eventually all that dropped so hard that we've seen a major crash that lasted for a long time so you gotta understand that whenever you're in a market you need to pay attention to the signs that tells us that okay this is the top people are not being rational right now everybody's too happy everybody's making money at some point that has to stop and the people that control the markets the people that are more experienced than everybody else they know that okay we gotta take that money because otherwise people are gonna start cashing out buying things and we're gonna be left without anything so it's a time issue what i'm saying is pay attention to the signs and i'm not gonna tell you which are those signs but just pay attention see if your neighbor knows about bitcoin if your grandmother which doesn't know about nothing about technology is suddenly talking about crypto you know that something is wrong right there are people that should not know about this advanced technology it's like boomers they don't know nothing about computers like it would be very unusual for them to start recommending me things about technology like as if they know something about it and that is dumb money they are not aware of how this works and when you see them getting in getting all excited when you see billboards with crypto and tweets all positive when the greed index is all over there then you know okay we're reaching the top when people act irrational there are different levels here people are just irrationally extremely positive they're putting all their money into crypto without any consideration for the risk because they're so emotional they're so hyped up then there is places like here in the middle yeah some people are greedy some people are buying most of the people are keeping some in stable coins others are outside of they they came from here so they are not even in crypto most people are not even aware that we are in a major all-time high most people are not aware that's where some people are where the early traders are concerned are okay are we at the top are we have we reached the top of crypto and people are not as emotional people are more logical than nothing which means that we're not at the top right now we are not all over the place we are not there is no major news there is no oh crypto is going to the moon is gonna change the markets there are no narratives behind that there is no emotion reaction to the price which means we are not nearly at the top it could either go either way because people are not all in into crypto now of course when you're here in the fear grid in the fear index that's where you want to buy 
the smart money is buying all other people are selling at a loss they've seen okay they put a thousand dollars into crypto they lost 90 percent of it and they're like okay let me take the loss let me grab this money because i needed to pay rent that is when they sell when the fear and is at the top most people are simply um ignoring bubble crypto they are just moving on they're like okay i'm done with crypto i'm not doing anything else with it i'm gonna exit like at this point i made a video here where i what i said okay we are probably at the lowest point at sixteen thousand dollars and it was exactly there we're probably ending the bullish market and soon enough we've seen this major major move and this was super explosive it was super fast if you see it like here my point is when everybody's fearful when nobody's paying attention to crypto when they are so distracted by anything else but crypto that's when you buy only those that have been in the game for a long time those that have been paying attention only those will buy will buy here most people are just done with crypto forever they are angry they are sad they're depressed because they lost most of their money so that's when you buy when everybody's hyped up you sell that's how it works of course it's not just this chart you gotta pay attention to the time you gotta see okay what section of the cycle are we at in terms of this four year cycles and things like that those are the signs that you need to pay attention if you go to twitter or any social media you will see that no not much people are excited are super emotionally crazy about it that's a good sign that means we are not done with the bullish cycle then having a strong strategy to buy and sell with technical targets now when it comes to managing your position you gotta know when to sell because otherwise you're gonna just sell whenever the price is already down you gotta know okay when this happens i'm gonna sell or when this happens i'm gonna buy for instance here we've seen that a major low was taken out price reached this top you can call it resistance supply whatever we've seen those that's an indication like when price comes to here i will buy that's a good way to enter the market or here when price consumes this high i'm gonna sell those are another another good thing to do to make sure you are managing your position but what i recommend you most even is to take a look at the cycles the four year cycles you see every time there is a, a halving like here 2016 the next year we see a major all-time high it happens all the time like here 2000 there was a halving 2021 in december we've seen or or late in the q4 we've seen the top there right now we've reached the the halving and it we still need a year or so until we reach the top which could be a hundred or so and you need to make calculated decisions by saying okay if this were to happen like for instance if a new etf is approved or something like that then i'm gonna sell or something you gotta have targets that are not purely based on price but on analysis that you made on volume on how dominant bitcoin is that's an important thing bitcoin dominance in fact let me show you there you go market cap bitcoin dominance this is another important chart because this tells us okay how much of the money is into bitcoin maybe there is a tether dominance there you go this one is even more important because it, this tells us okay how much of the money in crypto is kept into stable coins you see here most of the money was in tether at the high of the previous bull run now by itself this information is not very useful but if you start to analyze you will see okay right now not many people are in stable coins which means most people are exposed to crypto which means most people are expected are expecting price to go up at the lowest july or so most of the people were in 
stable coins and then it dropped meaning a lot of people were buying cryptocurrencies converting those stable coins to hard coins so these are just a few parameters that you can use at the end of the day you gotta have a strong strategy for selling and buying with technical targets for me this is what i would do is simply wait until we reach the the end or the fourth quarter of 2025 because that's when i've analyzed the previous tops were determined i will definitely wait for 100k or something like close to it not much like not 200k that's not not feasible given the fact that there is already too much money in crypto we need to have a way to manage that without you know printing trillions and trillions of dollars and then there must be maybe a news or something that will determine the fact that okay we are the top we need to start selling and we we will dca out or sell big chunks in a few weeks or days so that's how you set up a strategy you study the charts you study what happened in previous cycles you see how bitcoin and other coins are related in terms of dominance on where people are putting the money at the end of the day it's about behaviors you gotta know okay how much of the money that people have is being kept into stable coins how much is kept into hard coins how much is kept into altcoins once you understand that you understand what people are doing and then expect a good return that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to join my Telegram group where I share a lot of great information about development, crypto trading bots and other things. Make sure to subscribe and let me know what you think about this. See you soon.